Well, hello guys. Um, today, I'll be beginning a playthrough of a different game. Um, this is gonna be pretty, I guess, a cult classic. And but for me, I was able to play it much, much earlier, although uh, not in, not in English at all. So anyway. This is Princess Maker 2, and since I just noticed that in YouTube, there is actually no uh, direct tutorial playthrough of this game, I'll try to play a typical playthrough for this game while also try to explain to you how the game works and some minor suggestions on how to... I guess play this game. So, okay, let's begin. Okay, let's give her a name. Okay, now, in my opinion, here's a kind of a trick. I would actually suggest that you give your daughter's birthday in November. Why? Well, because I'll explain later, okay? It's just more convenient. And your age. Okay. I'm old, man. I'm old. Okay, um, this is the intro, and there's no need for explanation. I'll let the game talk for itself.
and now that is the basic story the human instrumentality project okay joking aside uh, this game was actually uh, um, published in Japan by Gainax the guys behind Neon Genesis Evangelion so yeah there, that joke has some sort of reason to exist okay um, this is basically what we will see mostly for the game now let's save the game first anyway um, okay let's begin um, to summarize the game um, you have a daughter to raise uh, where she will live with you and you can assign her tasks from making her own money or making her study and the game begins at 10 year old and ends at 18 and this game to summarize has a lot of numbers that is basically here now I will try to explain slowly while I play the game now which is the more imp these are the primary commands status checking see this besides that there's actually still a lot of hidden statistics that you could find in the game but of course there would be an easy way to measure that Secondly, this is the town. This is where you visit the town. Armor, where you buy the weapons. Weapons and armor. Tailor, where you buy clothes. Now, this is kind of important. When you start a game, do not forget to buy at least the summer dress and the winter dress. And if the game allows me to explain later, I will tell you why then we get restaurant now what's the point of getting to the restaurant well basically for stat changing less stress and more weight but generally if you know what you're doing you're never gonna need to visit the restaurant the, for the whole game now pawn shop these are miscellaneous stuff not important but generally you will see this buy screen a lot later and there's, this is also the place where you can sell stuff you cannot sell anywhere else except the pawn shop church okay there's a simple there's only one reason for this existing in the, in, while visiting the town making a donation why well it's due to this stat the sin stat uh, generally it increases when you kill something or defeat something and so to lower you need to donate that's generally it now back to the hospital of course this is when you're sick again if you know what you're doing in this game you should never never have a reason to visit the hospital now this one miscellaneous stuff uh, father daughter I guess conversation pocket money giving pocket money means you give her money so it generally helps when lowering stress but then if you know what you're doing you really shouldn't need to do that scold again it's a very complicated but it could help something when your daughter becomes a disobedient girl but again if you know what you're doing you're you do not need to use this command for the whole game at all now father daughter chat this is kind of pointless but i guess it's cool for flavor text for example now ask how she is doing do you think the gut will exist well you're actually gonna get that answer later in our pain through in our playthrough if we get lucky it has been like years since i last played this game okay so this one uh the, the castle this is visiting the royal family Now, in a different 
in a weird way it's not that important to frolic with the royal family but in very specific endings this is absolutely required now what is the point of talking like this uh, of course when you visit a royal a part of the royal family they would need to accept it before they would converse with you and that requires specific status statistics so for example in this one grace and refinement he wants that you get one point why because well at least we have some sort of refinement nine points so it means if you don't have any refinement before he start he probably there's uh, I mean okay uh, the, the members of the royal family have a requirement for before they start to convert with your daughter okay now for this one is how the di her diet your daughter's diet okay generally you don't need to you just need to keep on diet a normal diet but if you're focused on a something specific you might need to slim down or even weight loss but that is very dangerous so generally if you're starting out keep it on normal diet now this one this is the equipment screen this allows you to change your daughter's current uh, clothes this is also the part where you could also equip her weapon and armor now this one is still kind of stats but more like miscellaneous stats but again there are other stats in here that are kind of important if you, if you want to discover why something is happening like blood type age sickness delinquency a healthy well behaved and what diet is his current sizes height weight okay so let's start now we have 300 gold before it was 500 but we bought her the summer dress and the plain dress now I generally begin the game by focusing on winning a tournament but let's just say we begin by job we need more money now I always tend to use farm well let me explain why now on the third week it's the relaxation okay farm farm and then the third time off free time it's free okay you schedule now now okay every job has a statistical requirement if you see sometimes there are days where she doesn't correctly do her job oh, yeah. two days there's only two days she was able to do her job well so only 20 G and still again I can wait practice again now for this job she actually needs con constitution and strength and since that is also the stats that get increased you can just keep mashing that job until she becomes proficient at it now uh, the pocket money if you give her pocket money her lowered stress would be bigger now okay this is a random event you could she would ask tell you if your daughter's future for her g have fortune told just to see you to show you guys oh, hey. Is it? performer what do you mean performer okay now that is a hint that if somehow that is still your stats and she turns to 18 to 18 years old that will be her total ending so okay for me i just want farm because it, there's an easy requirement then free time for me that's my it's only kind of boring but let's see see she's now doing pretty well oops except that one day but eight days it's, she has done well now Now, work is generally if you want your daughter to earn money. 
school is the one where you want her to learn skills or well basically also earning stats but generally it's through tutoring and so certain stats could only be increased by tutoring and then adventure we will gonna use this much later so for uh, for now we're gonna give her a uh, painting and then farm and then free time now if you'd notice that everything that she does increases her stress and time off is generally the only way to lower stress see that on that art tutor she increased her art stat now she is working well because the requirement for this job is constitution and strength now okay this is the important part now um, it seemed that the a dreadful cold wave now fortunately we are wearing the winter dress but what if you don't have the dress well she'll lose stats or increase her st her stress so but what if you say your we your daughter is wearing the plain dress and that cold thing happens well you'll still be given the choice to wear the winter dress if you have bought it so it is important to always buy those clothes at the beginning of the game now we're gonna continue okay if you'd notice why is that refinement stat if you're looking at specifically at that stat you would notice that in the beginning of the game her, her refinement was 9 now it's 0 now that's the catch for the, for the jobs in this game and sometimes even for tutor okay oh crap we missed something um sorry uh we got our re ah, sorry we got to re reload the air like I, I want to show you something okay let's begin uh, what are her clothes okay so let's make it fast ah, I always forget that so the fast forward for this game is holding the F3 button Now, an example for this. If you if you notice, her. Oh, I forgot, what was the stat? Refinement. Well, because her refinement was lowered, we didn't guess. We didn't get a bonus for her okay sorry um, let's continue time off okay impressive nine days with no botching up the job you get a bonus okay now this is kind of important at the end of December, or at least on January, because we're in December 31. Hey, where's the... Hmm. I'm missing something. Sorry. Damn it, my memory's getting uh, bad for this game. Okay, painting. Time off. pocket money because we could lower her stress to zero anyway so yeah yeah and this and this time we I actually forgot to change her to the winter dress but since the cold wave still happened there was now still an option to, to let her change to the winter dress so no so no stress so good okay let's save the game okay every January 
if you'd notice, there is no an extra choice in here, the young officer. This is important. Um, it would make sense later in the game, but it's very important that every January, the young officer happens, and your daughter must always meet the young officer. Uh, yeah, you should always promise to see the young officer. Okay, let's save the game. That's a good sign already. Okay, let's make this fast. Daughter, fa da father, daughter conversation. Her studies. If I want to, basically, um, the father, daughter conversation is kind of important. If you are not that used to the game, it could help you get hints on what to do for the game so again um, more farming okay uh, this is the kind of caveat why are always use farming on the beginning because actually uh, in farming your daughter increases her constitution and strength but actually loses refinement but then, since her refinement is already that low, what are we gonna lose? Now, this is important. For example, we visit someone else, like say General. Hey, hello. Oh, what are you doing? They're they're ignoring her because we need to to pacify certain statistics before those people would notice her. Oh, so let's continue. School painting. Now, why am I focusing on painting? Now, um, why am I focusing on painting? There's actually a reason for that. Um, every year there would be a sort of festival that if she wins, we could get a lot of money for very little effort now in my opinion in all of those festivals okay another have fortune told sure why not performer okay so not a big deal keep farm unfortunately it's pretty boring but this is really how I try to play this game my goal at the beginning is to create a lot of money and then enroll my enroll the daughter in the artist tutor and then hoping by at least the second year before she's 12 she wins the festival that's generally my goal because because it's free money free gold and this makes me able to make her focus on tutoring to increase her stats and be able to beat everyone up Some painting and then free time. Let's go fast forward. If you see her, the art stat isn't really does have a pretty low ceiling. That's also the reason why. Okay, pocket money. Besides, tutoring also uses adds very little stress. So that's why I focus on that kind of balance it rather than, you know, splurge. Now, okay, let's miss sample. Since we have 100 gold, 
Okay, this is how it works. Um, once you tutor with the artist, after a few lessons, you will be asked to paint a picture. It's kind of semi-random, but since, you know, our art is really not that good, but still, I need to show you something, so I'm gonna comply yes, although it uses up 100 gold. Okay, um, besides changing the <laughs> wallpaper, it's actually, since we already painted a new art, it could, meet, it could be submitted in an upcoming festival competition. So, let's continue with the farming, because again, partially, why do I use farming? It's generally one of the highest paying jobs available in Princess Maker that its shortcomings is not really that big. No, no pocket money. Okay, now, okay. Now, if you remember... Oh, sorry, I, I made a minor mistake. The festival begins at October. And that is partially the reason why we gave the daughter's birth date as November 1. Because at least you would have more time to prepare for the festival. So it kind of increases the chance that in a few years, we would be able to win a festival competition. Okay, the harvest season has arrived. And give that. You, on this month, you will not be able to do a normal job and because there will be the festival and there will be always a competition every year. Participation in the combat tournament, the dance party, art festival, and the cooking contest. Okay. The test opportunity to test the skills you've learned. And every year, we get a new salary. Okay, but that's not, it's not that important. Okay, let's save the game. go to the festival although there's a, cha a chance to rest well to, to be honest we're not gonna win any competition today uh, it would be probably the earliest next year when she is uh, about to be 12 years old but I'll show you the festival so I could show you stuff go to the festival <laughs> Now we have the choice. Okay, in order to join the art festival, your daughter should have been able to create a painting. If you remember earlier, we did that already. So we can join that. Combat tournament, yes, but she doesn't have the correct equipment nor a good skill set in order to win that. So not for now. Dance party requires another different stat. And cooking contest, you could always join this if you're not qualified to join this but again it requires a different set of skills so we're gonna choose the art festival because that's where most fit right now you schedule art class Okay, it's insulting, but unfortunately, our art stats are still pretty low. Unfortunately, that's part of this. Okay, 83 points for the third place. The, four, the second is got 84 points. And the gold is 95 points and winning with 4,000 gold and it's the teacher who would have tonked it okay the, the mistress scored 56 points the daughter earned 56 points not bad for the first competition right 
So in theory, next year, he would be able to do better. Hey, okay. The traveling salesman. This is important. Okay, this is actually a good time for happen. This wandering source ah oh, sorry, wandering merchant is kind of semi random but it is always assured that he will always appear at least four times per playthrough, maybe even more. Okay. Why is this important? You see Unicorn Spirit Ring. I'll explain it later. So for now, we're gonna get the Unicorn Flute. 1000 gold. We have just exactly the right money for this. Okay. Since half an hour has already uh, happened, we're gonna cut this video for now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry for the boring beginning, but this will pick up next part. So, this is Raider VM again. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to comment or something, maybe even a violent reaction to something, you could put it at the comments below or at my discussion page. So, uh, hey guys, I'm gonna see you again in another video.